Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again, and I've been getting requests about this for a while now, so I thought I'd finally cover it and uh, get my shit together, unplug all this stuff, and show you guys how to record PC gameplay to that exact same PC with an HD PVR. So I'm both recording from and to the same computer, and as far as I'm aware, um, I'm the only person doing this right now. I haven't heard of anyone else using the same setup. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, cover it for you guys, because uh, I've gotten a number of requests about it, and yeah, I just thought it would be a good thing to do. So, without further ado, here we go. First things first, you're going to need a computer and an HD PVR. Thought that was self-explanatory, but you never know. Some people, uh, they want everything spelled out for them. So, there's that. Um, and then, in terms of the PC and the hardware you can have, you're going to need a graphics card which is older than the current generation. So if you have uh, a Radeon HD 5000 series or GeForce GTX 400 series um, or anything of that generation, you're going to need you're not going to be able to do this basically. You need a a GeForce GTX 200 or um, Radeon HD 4000 series or below because we're dealing with analog outputs and signals and the newer cards are all digital so there's that um, and with your graphics card you're gonna be getting or you're gonna already have an analog adapter like this and it's an HDTV to analog adapter and if you look at your graphics card um, in order for your graphics card to be able to do this you're going to need this port right here, which is an HDTV out. And then, as you can see, you have the two DVI. And so you take this adapter and you plug it into this port. And then you basically have three component video outs. Um, and you hook up the component cables from the HD PVR into that component cable out and then you're also going to need audio. So uh, the HD PVR uses mono audio to uh, get that stereo effect, so it has a left and a right channel. So I use a stereo to mono adapter in order for um, in order to get my audio recorded. So if you have like a speaker out or something like that, you just go ahead and you plug that in. I use a headphone amplifier, so my setup's a little weird. Um, I won't go into that because I figure that most of you guys probably don't have that. But um, yeah, so that's that in terms of hooking up to the computer uh, for the output. And then you have the HD PVR right here with the power cable. If you're using S Video or uh, standard composite, then your your inputs are right there. But um, for everybody else, everybody using component cables, which is what you should be using, you've got it all on the back. So these are the inputs. You also have the outputs. I do not use those, because what I do is I duplicate my video output, and I send a digital signal to my monitor, and the analog signal eventually goes into the HD PVR. So that's how that works. Um, so I've got the I've got the video going right there. I've got the uh, the audio going right there, and then you have the power cable and the USB cable, and this is a USB out, and this USB goes all the way through the cable and comes out right here, and then you just plug that right back into the computer, and that will allow you to record to your computer. So let's break it down uh, into really simple parts. HDTV out to, compo to component out to component cables to HD PVR and then also you've got the stereo to mono out to mono cable to HD PVR and then it re-encodes it and does its magic sends it out via the USB goes through the cable comes back out right here plug it in standard USB very simple. It's USB 2.0, so hopefully you have a computer with USB 2.0. If not, then it won't work. Uh, most computers probably have that. 
a lot of computers nowadays have USB 3.0, so you should be fine there. And then you also, of course, have your power cable. Self-explanatory. You guys hopefully know how to plug in a power cable. So that's it for the hardware component of this whole uh, doohickey. I will cut to my desktop and show you guys how I record um, with the software and how I do the software side of things. So I hope you guys are following along thus far, and I will see you guys on the computer. Bye. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Here's my desktop. And in order to get the HD PVR up and running, first of all, have all of the software for it already installed. And once that, that's done, uh, what you want to do is you want to turn on your HD PVR and then go to the screen resolution screen. And I don't know what it's called on XP or Windows 7, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out. For resolution, I always set it to 720p. The HD PVR can record at 1080i, but it's a real pain in the butt trying to work with interlaced footage, so I just run at 720p. And then the more important option that you have to enable is you have to press duplicate these displays. And what that'll do is it'll send an identical video signal both to the HD PVR and to your monitor. So that's really important. And then after that, start up Total Media Extreme, the software that comes with the HD PVR. Press the record video button and it'll uh, pop this thing up. And right there I'm just I'm changing my audio input because uh, since it previews it, it'll actually create a, a feedback loop and it'll get really loud and it'll blow your ears out, so you guys don't want that. So be careful with this setting. Since you are recording to and from the same computer, as you can see right here with the video, it is an infinite loop. So uh, only change it to the correct setting right before you're about to record. That's something I discovered <laughs> after having my ears um, blown into by my headphones. So video input. You want YPRPB, that's component. Audio input. If you're using the same audio input that I used in the hardware component of this video, then you're going to want to press RCA back, but I'm going to leave it on RCA front. That way uh, we don't get any of that audio feedback. For the PC audio mode, you want two-channel stereo, unless you're using SPDIF. Uh, you can get surround sound with the digital audio. Uh, as for device settings, I just use the standard device settings, so these are all standard, and then I use the standard video standard, uh, which is NTSCM. It's going to be different for you European users, and I don't know what CCAM is, I'm guessing it's an Asian standard. But uh, yeah, just keep all those default, and then you have format settings, <coughs> excuse me. And for the format settings, I put my bitrate at the maximum with a constant bitrate and standard low-pass filter settings. And then I set my audio encoder to AC3 because I've found that um, Sony Vegas Pro likes AC3 better than AAC. So I recommend using AC3. And then in terms of file type, you want AVCHD, otherwise known as TS. Uh, that's what I use. I find it very easy to use. It makes the previews in Vegas much smoother. It's not as choppy as these other formats. And the quality is better, in my opinion. Uh, that's just something that I've found. I've asked some of you guys for feedback on the quality when I've changed settings every once in a while. And you guys seem to like AVC HD the best. So that's what I use. And then I have these unchecked. And the reason I do that is uh, I leave this unchecked because you don't want to get that audio feedback. And if you have the preview going while you're recording, then you're going to get audio feedback. And then I leave hardware acceleration off because um, that'll just take up CPU cycles and it'll lower your frame rate when you're in game. So you don't want that. So when you have everything sorted out, you want to change your audio input back to the correct one and then immediately press capture. That way you don't get any feedback. And then it takes a few seconds. It'll start to capture. Go ahead, start up your game, play your game, come back and press stop and soon thereafter it'll stop close the program close this other program go to the place where you saved the file and I just save it to my uh, my disk array I have a raid zero disk array for recording purposes 
and here's the file. So I hope this was helpful to some of you guys, informative. Um, you definitely can record to and from the same computer with the HD PVR. And now you guys know how to. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, please leave a thumbs up. Feedback would be appreciated as well. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys recording in the near future. See you guys later. Bye.